transgender bathroom policy still hurting Target. And something tells me they're not just talking about Stephen Crowder's hilarious prank calls. And then lifted up his skirt to reveal what can only be described as an acorn squash, which has been left in the sun too long. That's how my daughter came back and described it to me. Do you understand that when I send my daughter in to buy a hat to Target, I do not expect her to come out in need of a biology lesson. <laughs> Right, okay. If the experience of US retailer Target is anything to go by, when it comes to controversial political issues, businesses should adopt a don't ask, don't tell policy. Last year, the company sparked a massive boycott after publishing a seemingly innocuous blog post welcoming transgender shoppers to use the bathrooms and fitting rooms corresponding with their gender identities. Nearly a year later, and Target is still feeling the effects of the backlash. The irony for Target is that many retailers and businesses have similar policies, they just don't advertise them publicly. So Target have blasted out a massive virtue signal about how inclusive and tolerant they are when it comes to 0.3% of the population pissing and shitting where they haven't traditionally pissed and shat. The intention was clearly to have the other 99.7% of the population be all like, Oh, look how inclusive and tolerant they're being. We should go and shop at Target. There's been a few large companies trying their hand at this kind of virtue signaling marketing recently, and it usually falls on its ass. Audi, Brita, Vodafone, just off the top of my head. Transgender inclusive policies are not a safety risk, the National Centre for Transgender Equality writes. If they were, we would know by now, as transgender people have been using public bathrooms and locker rooms for decades. According to the Wall Street Journal, the, power of Christ compels you. the post was sparked after a number of staff requested their bosses to clarify the company's stance. After an internal memo to managers reiterated the policy, some in the company sent an email to executives informing them of a plan to announce it publicly. Target's chief executive, Brian Cornell, reportedly did not receive that email and so never approved the blog post, which within hours prompted a customer backlash and condemnation from Christian groups. A petition to boycott the retailer launched by the American Family Association has attracted more than one million signatures. Foot traffic to a number of stores, particularly in the conservative southern states, declined considerably. Target didn't adequately assess the risk, and the ensuing backlash was self-inflicted, Mr Cornell told staff according to the journal. The power of Christ compels you! So what I want to know is what negative effects has Target's bathroom policy had, both in terms of public safety and the company's performance? Well, it turns out there's conflicting opinions on both fronts. While Target has said on a number of occasions the boycott had no material impact on the business, one analyst said it seemed to matter. In February, the company reported falling sales for three quarters in a row. Since the boycott started, Target's stock has lost 35% of its value and shuttered plans for major expansion projects, said American Families Association Senior Vice President Buddy Smith. Together we are making an unprecedented financial impact on a corporation whose policy is to allow men to use women's restrooms and dressing rooms. Target's decision is unacceptable for families, and their dangerous and misguided policy continues to put women and children in harm's way. While an investigation by CBS found no evidence of a predator ever posing as a transgender person committing a bathroom assault, the Family Research Council compiled a list of incidents in which men violated the privacy of women in bathrooms, locker rooms and other private spaces. Before we have a look at this list, think about the wording we just heard. While an investigation by CBS found no evidence of a predator ever posing as a transgender person committing a bathroom assault. So what about actual transgender people? And how the fuck are you supposed to tell the difference between a transgender person and somebody posing as a transgender person? Oh, this is all I've linked the Family Research Council's list of incidents in the description and had a quick scan through myself. Some creepazoid tonight throwing fear into women in a popular department store in New Jersey. He is going into a changing room at a Target in Brick Township and taking pictures of women in the next stall getting changed, just reaching under the stall with his camera. Now a picture of him is being made public. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Jim Dolan. He looks normal. They always do. Women were curious at the Brick Township Target about the unsettling story of this man, who police say was using his cell phone camera to take pictures of women trying on clothes in the store dressing room. The search is on this morning for a man who is going into the changing rooms and peeked into a stall while a woman was changing. Fox 25's Jessica Reyes joins us now with a picture of the man that police are looking for. And Sarah, this all happened at this Target here in Revere on Sunday afternoon. This morning, police are still trying to track down the suspect. And this morning, they do have a surveillance photo that they're asking everyone to take a look at. Police in Revere on the hunt for this man this morning. 
They tell our crews he was caught in a unisex changing room at Target, peeking into the next stall where a woman was changing. New surveillance pictures released by Palatine police of a man they say tried to film a young girl in a Target dressing room. Well, Lauren Victory has been following the story all morning. She's live outside the store with a look at who police are looking for this morning. Hi, Lauren. Good morning, Lionel and Aaron. The incident happened at this Dundee Road target on Sunday. Almost three days later, police still don't have the perp. Now investigators are trying to appeal to the public. They need your help. They sent out these images from target surveillance cameras to try to identify and track down the suspect. Police say this man stuck a cell phone underneath a fitting room door and a girl younger than 18 was in there. She noticed the phone and began to scream. The man ran. So I don't think this issue has too much to do with people not wanting legitimate transgender people to use the bathroom that they want. It's that the laws and policies that are being put into place in the name of transgender rights are also allowing people with ill intentions to access the wrong bathroom. And yeah, unfortunately when I say people with ill intentions, they have all been incidents involving a biological male in the women's bathroom and not a biological female in the men's bathroom. Now we're only talking 25 incidents across the US and Canada, so it's not the most pressing societal issue. But to me, it does fit into this category of stupid problems we've made out of non-problems. Blokes shouldn't be allowed to use the women's bathroom, it's fucking ridiculous. Now in the case of genuine transgender people like Blair White or Amber Rembrandt, people who have done courses of female hormones, live as a woman, and most importantly look like a woman, we don't need any new laws or special policies. Because they look like women, and no one's going to be able to tell the difference. If you haven't made your best efforts to at least outwardly transition into a woman, then you shouldn't be using the women's bathroom. The extent to which we're expected to bend reality these days is ridiculous. This woman is trans-black, she curled her hair and put on a cunt load of fake tan and now she's African-American. This 50-something year old father of four abandoned his family and became a trans seven-year-old girl. And most disturbing of all, this woman is trans-abled. She became blind six years ago by having drain cleaner poured into her eye sockets. Because drain cleaner was easily available to me, I went with that. She found a psychologist willing to help her. And after two weeks of working together to make sure she was ready, they carried out Jill's plan. I laid down on the sofa and he sat next to me, dropped two drops into each eye. My eyes were screaming. I had some drain cleaner going down my cheek, burning my skin. In the moment, all I could think of was, I'm going blind, it's going to be okay. You know what our biggest problem is these days? It's not intolerance or hate or bigotry or racism or even sexism. It's none of that shit. Our biggest problem these days is that we're no longer willing to say, you're a fucking idiot and that's a fucking shit idea. It's all fucking, no one can say you're wrong, you're an individual and you're special and we love you. So nobody actually knows when they're being a fucking idiot with a fucking shit idea. If I told you that I was Chinese, what would your response be? I mean, I might be a little surprised, but I would say, good for you. Like, yeah, be who you are. <laughs> if you thoroughly debated me or explained why you felt that you were six foot five, uh, I feel like I would be very open to saying that you were six foot five or Chinese or a woman. I feel like that's not my place as like another human to say someone is wrong or to draw lines or boundaries. Well then whose fucking place is it? For Christ's sake, if another human being isn't going to tell you you're being a fucking idiot, who's gonna tell you? God? I know I God! Well that could have gone a lot worse. Now where were we? Oh yeah, 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 this broad. I feel like that's not my place as like another human to say someone is wrong or to draw lines or boundaries. We've got to start challenging these motherfuckers. Like if it's not another person's place to tell you what you can and can't be, can I start identifying as disabled and get one of those stickers for my car that lets you park closer to the shops? Can I come out as trans retired and jump on a government pension? Or what if we pushed it even further? What if I identify as fucking your girlfriend or announce that I'm a fucking trans lottery winner? Well, looks like I've got some field work to do this week. I'll catch you later. I guess you could say that department store was an easy target.
smooth 